is a practice video for Wizards in Winter, uh, the string orchestra arrangement by Bob Phillips, the bass part. So this piece, not a lot of tricky notes, except for one measure at the end. We'll talk about that in a little bit. What's difficult is switching back and forth between arco and pizzicato in time. So in class, we're going to discuss who's playing what notes, what notes to leave off so that we can switch. And then it's a matter of just to practicing how fast you can get back and forth between arco and pizzicato. Uh, which is on bass, not one of my greater skills. So I'm going to do the best I can, uh, and I'll be working on this as well. But we have one sharp in the key signature, F sharp. You have a lot of D sharp accidentals, so you're going to be doing some half position uh, for, to catch that D sharp, but then just coming right back up to first position, and you're going you're to repeat that scale many times throughout the piece, so you'll get the hang of it right away. So the rhythm right at the, at the beginning, we have one and, and three and, and one and, and three and. You're with the cellos. Uh, for our slow practice tempo, we're going to take this at a quarter equals 90. So let's get that started. And for my sake as well, I'm going to leave off the downbeat of measure four so I can switch to pizzicato on time. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. So you kind of get the hang of it. Uh, again, switching back and forth, that's going to be the tricky part. You do the same thing pretty much all the way down to the bottom of the piece um, up until 62. 62 is the same rhythm as the beginning. You're just staying on the same pitch. One and, and three and, and one and, and three and. So just keep track of where you are. You'll hear in the orchestra where um, 78 will be coming up where you go back to the scales. And now let's skip all the way down to the bottom. Uh, measure 110. So you can see this uh, four groups of 16th notes um, just going down little mini scales. We're starting in third position. Let's do separate bows. Then go up to your C again. Sorry. So practice that super slow, get it in tune. Um, separate bows uh, until you can get that uh, under your fingers. Then start speeding it up, speeding up, add the slurs in, um, and we want it to get up to about one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, so it goes really fast. Now, if that's still a struggle, even after all your practicing, it's totally okay to just play the first note of every group of four to make sure you're on time and that those downbeats are in tune and helping out the orchestra. So just going, oops, sorry, C natural. Again, that's going to be running down super quick as we go down those scales. All right, so practicing between pizzicato and arco, watch your D sharps, and then just working on measure 110 as much as you can.